Come on in the garden. This is Earth Goddess Ayana, and this is the reading for the Capricorns. Capricorn, I was hearing the song by Whitney Houston, Why Does It Hurt So Bad? Where many of you are feeling sad and you thought you were over someone, these emotions is coming all up with this energy here in August. And your ancestors are telling you that it is time to heal. Where some of you, you need to know it is too little, too late for this relationship. Some, you need to know that whatever communication that you was waiting on, a phone call, a text, it is not going to come through. This is time for you to heal where many of you are looking at old pictures, reminiscing, know that the many harsh words that were said to each other, it has wounded the heart, like the three of swords. Every word that was spoken was a knife stuck in your heart. Many of you are feeling down, depressed, the sorrow, but know that this had to happen. And many of you may be confused because you have walked away from this person. And now these energies is coming back up. It is time for y'all to release the anxiety. Look back and think back on all of the lies that was told. Where you are thinking of the magical moments y'all had, the good times. For some, this is a man that is coming back pleading for his position with you. But the ancestor says, if you get back with this man, it's just going to be a tower. Another cycle of how everything went the first time. Where you may be in your emotions at this time, feel like everything is just coming to the surface. It is time to let that ego die. It is time for you to heal your heart. Some of you, you have your throat chakra that is blocked. But know that the universe is going to send you someone much better. Just be patient. During this time, it's time for many of you to rest. For you to gather your strength, for you to heal your heart, where you may have been all tied up in these emotions, in this relationship, it is time for you to focus on you. Give yourself that love. Bloom in the happiness that you need. For some, y'all have been over drinking or over smoking. It is time to release that energy. Know that the heart will heal once you put in the work to heal it. It is time to see through the illumination. It is time for you to have grace and be thankful for whatever situation you went through because this is an end of a cycle where in the relationship there have been a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of disagreement. But now it is time for you to close that door behind you and walk forward where you have a lot of options and opportunities coming in. I was seeing the numbers 906, which is the new beginnings, the positive change. I was seeing 909, which is the fast energy that is moving. So embrace this change that is coming because this change is going to bring in the new opportunities to present themselves. For some, this is a spiritual shift for you. And with this spiritual shift, you must look through the illusions. You must heal the heart. What is it that you truly want? It's time for you to speak those magical words where Things will be coming in fast for you, opportunities. But first, you have to cut off some of these boundaries, people, emotions that you set up because this is a time of transformation. And with this transformation, it is time for you to focus on you. Once you focus on you, the universe is going to balance you out. It's going to open up the doors to the many wishes that you have been making. Things will start turning in your favor 
for all of the hard work that you have been putting in. The universe is going to bring in a new strong foundation for you, that happy home, that generational wealth that you've been working on to build. For some, know that once you close this door, this person from the past is going to try to come back. But the ancestors want you to focus on the cup that the universe is trying to hand you, not the spilled ones that's behind you. Know that it's you that have to transform and see through the many illusions in order for your dreams to be fulfilled, in order for your wishes to come true. It's time for you to take that leap of faith, to get on that chariot and move forward. In order for the ancestors to rescue you out of this pain of sorrow, the deep hurt that you are going through. So sit down quiet and meditate. See what it is that you want to create into your life. Are you being appreciative of everything that you have? No, when you learn a lesson, you earn a blessing. What lesson did you learn in this relationship or this situation that you have been through? It is time for you to set up the many boundaries. It's time for you to get the knowledge that you need. So be open to the many opportunities that is coming your way. Your ancestor says that it's time for you to know exactly what direction you are going in. What words are you speaking in order to manifest the good things into your reality? Where some of you are waiting on some new opportunities to come in, they are on their way. Many of you will be shifting into a new aspect of self. And with this new aspect of self, know that some people are part of your history. They are not your destiny. So this relationship or friendship that has been cut off and now these emotions is back and making you hurt, know that you have every tool you need to create the new you, the new reality. But it's you that has to take action. It's you that have to call in the strength to give self that self-love to stand in your power and believe in yourself. That way you will see the clear signs, the clear messages, the new ideas that will be coming in for you. This is raw power that is coming your way, but you have the strength to overcome these emotions, to tame that hurt, that sorrow, and that pain to heal your heart in order to move forward. It's time for you to communicate with the ancestors in order for them to revive your soul power, to revive the newness that you are calling in. And doors of happiness and healness will be here for you. But it's time for you to heal that grief? Are you going out in nature, connecting, releasing the many hurts and bondages that you may have been through? For many of you, you have many opportunities coming in. You have a lot of cups, but know that only one of these cups is good for you. The other is illusions. Are you seeing through these illusions in order to get your wish fulfillment? There's going to be new growth coming in with these new opportunities that will be flowing in to you. This is a time for you to change your thoughts and you will change your life to make sure that the many relationships, whether it's family, friends, lovers, is balanced. Close that door behind you and keep moving forward. This is the energy of healing that is here for you. 
So know that the heavy burden that you was carrying, it was a sacrifice to a lot of the success that you wanted to come in. And now you will be releasing it. You will be focused on the hard work. It's you that is walking away. And when you walk away from a situation, we do not look back. So make sure you do not get um, drawn in to this sadness. It is time to heal your heart and move forward.